Good afternoon, everybody. Or in my case, it's super late here. So good night, evening, and welcome. You're probably wondering where I went off to. You're probably like, geez, where the heck is Techie Tell? I keep subscribing to him. And that's it. This guy doesn't release any more videos. What is up with that? Yeah, I know. I know. I It upsets me as well. Believe me. But if you're interested in really knowing, stick around right now. I'm going to tell you. If you're not interested, try and skip like three minutes or something like that until you feel the content is relevant. I'm not time stamping this particular video. But let's let's go over what happened to me. So what happened to me, G? Well, let's just put it this way. I was unable to carry the lower half of my body. And I wish I was kidding when I said this. And I wish this was kind of like symbolistically or metaphorically. I'm saying I couldn't carry the lower half of my body. No, uh, no, no. Uh, actually, I had a bit of an injury. Uh, had a bit of an injury. I pretty much lifted a 24U rack server that I probably shouldn't have. And I attempted to lift it. I felt uh, like a tingling and kind of what felt like something compressing in my back. And within a few hours, I was immobile to the point where I generally thought that I might have to call my neighbor to take me to the hospital because I, I, I what I'm not kidding with you guys when I say this things are never that bad uh, I know that this guy might be kind of random but uh, you know I know that life has its problems we all have our issues and, and things that you know we're trying to get by we're trying to survive in this crazy messed up world but just remember at least you you have you can walk. And I know that might not seem like a lot, but when you lose that ability to essentially carry yourself to the, you know, to the facilities or it really just, it snaps a level of reality towards you. And for me particularly felt like you guys ever see those Space movies, by the way, one of my favorite genres. You ever see those space movies where every step is like, oh my God, like it's it's like heavy and like it might be like dangerous to get to the other side. Just imagine that that's what it was like for me, except I didn't know if I was literally going to make it, I would say less than a foot and a half before I might collapse. And it was bad. And I had nobody here to help me. And... Unfortunately, it's just I, I just don't didn't have that help at that time. Thankfully, I, I did actually end up going to the hospital. They ran a bunch of tests and they said, yeah, you, you kind of messed up your L1 and all, all this stuff. And you got to take all these crazy drugs. And I mean, my I was constantly in and out of consciousness and I'm not out of consciousness, consciousness. I wasn't able to really focus on the things that I enjoyed, which is I do enjoy making videos for you guys. And I enjoy working with these incredible communities like Cometa, uh, Notif Notifier, Notifier. <laughs> I like saying Notifier. Uh, Cross Seed, which by the way, a V6 uh, Q&A and a guide probably all in one is going to be coming very soon because there's major changes coming with Cross Seed. And of course, gosh, the radar community, the star community is just everything that makes life a little bit easier. Thanks to the wonderful, wonderful people at places like Cometa and all these places. And just let's really show these guys the appreciation that they deserve. The, there's behind every amazing feature. There's a tired developer that is not getting any thanks for his help. So show your appreciation, donate to come out of the star teams, donate to any of these tools when you are able. I know that, you know, things are difficult in survival and, and the economy's fucking crazy, right? <laughs> so I can really get it. You know, we're all literally being stretched alive and, and things just keep getting more and more expensive, but just keep it going and just, show these guys some appreciation that they deserve 
And again, I wanted to just take the time to thank all the new subscribers. Gosh, I get really appreciate you guys. Every time when I was in bed or feeling awful or couldn't work on Cometa or couldn't make videos for you guys in terms of like, hey, check out this cool thing that I found. We This is how we grow as a community. It, it always made me kind of sad and it, it was really easy to slip into negativity. Just remember the effort, that positivity takes effort and you guys make that effortless for me. So thank you so much. Anyways, on to the video. Welcome to another video here real quick. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a quick video in regards to the tool by Chaz Larson. Okay, that was annoying. <laughs> this is about a tool from Chaz Larson called Grab All Posters. And if you fo follow the four hour Cometa video, Grab All Posters is literally the first thing we talk about. Okay, the first thing. However, I wanted to make a little follow up video here in regards to Grab All Posters. And something that has happened to me as I've been utilizing Cometa, and I feel like, uh, you know, this should be a public service announcement in a way, in terms of posters. So I have um, just a bunch of sort of classical movies on my other library. And what what happened was once all these movies got loaded through, like, let's say, Recipe or whatever builder I used to get the load the movies into my Plex library and I just had a bunch of movies that I recently imported. What ended up happening was as I slept, my uh, grab all posters automatic task that we covered in again, the Cometa video ran and it grabbed the posters and put it into the assets directory. So for example, it just picked whatever posters it you know was. I left, I left my box just kind of, you know, downloading all night and grabbing titles. And so I, I wasn't paying attention to the posters that are getting loaded, but this is for you. If you find yourself making big grabs of certain movies and stuff like that, and you, it's getting loaded into Plex, but you just don't have the time to sit there and wait for all that to finish. Right? So in my case, I had a bunch of noir movies with uh, just a bunch of different posters that weren't really at all good. I, I, I think we know that Plex has uh, suffered a real loss in terms of uh, posters, in terms of quality posters since they switched to Nielsen ratings. So what? I, let me actually just go ahead and show you guys, like for example, some of the movies that I have in my actual library. So here you can see like a bunch of movies here uh, from that I grabbed in terms of, you know, Plex Meta Manager. You could just kind of see some of the, these noirs don't even have movies selected here, like The Desperate Hours. There's just no real poster there. It's like, wait a minute, what's happening here? So unfortunately, once gr the side effect with grab all posters is if it starts putting something in Assets Directory, you're kind of locked into those posters the next time Cometa runs. Because when Cometa runs and applies overlays. Remember, it does so utilizing the assets directory that grab all posters downloads to or backs up to. And so it will, if I start changing posters here, it won't matter because the minute Cometa runs, it will just, it doesn't care what I'm doing here. It will only use it in the assets directory. And so of course, I, I, I had a little bit of a predicament where it already did a bunch of movies. We're talking like a hundred plus movies for posters before I could choose the actual posters I wanted for all these hundreds of movies. So that's a problem. The way that grab all poster runs is it runs every single day. So we're going to open up something here and, and you can kind of just see that, you know, grab all posters runs like pretty much every day. So it starts. It checks for like a last run date here, et cetera. And then it keeps a, it keeps essentially a database. Okay. It keeps a database called, it's not IDs.SQLite, but it is an SQLite database called media scripts, kind of a random name. Uh, it should just be called database.SQLite, but I guess it's, it's a SQLite 
backup database for a bunch of these scripts, not just ground ball poster. So probably makes more sense than I'm giving it credit for. Now, obviously it's very tough to kind of deal in SQL light and try to edit this, you know, look, I, I can't, so if we take a look at here, I mean, I mean, I'm kind of seeing what it did, movies, et cetera, but like, there's really no easy way to edit this out. I mean, you know, you can't even really backspace. So the code isn't, the code program isn't really meant for that. So what do I do in the instance that I, I just want to re-grab everything in the last, oh gee, nine hours ago here, 10 hours ago, 18 hours, give or take. It's like, Okay, what if I would just want to do it every 24 hours? So if we took a look at the environment variable here, the environment variable file that comes as part of the, these scripts, we see that there is something called, well, let's go down here, reset libraries, reset the last time count to zero for these libraries, and then we see default years back. Well, gee, I don't really want it to grab something years back, right? I, I just, because what is this setting? do in the absence of a last run date grab things added this many years back well i don't i don't need years back i just need like a day so basically long story short i went ahead and modified the script and if you're part if you if you know code and all that uh go ahead and just open it up and uh modify the script the only reason i'm not going to include the script here in this video is just because I don't want to take any liability for someone like, you know, breaking their library or anything, but go ahead and just check the script. And instead of doing years back, I recoded, you know, the, the script that runs grab all posters into just days back utilizing the Python scheduling variable. So just, if you know, Python, you, it's very easy to rewrite it. And now what this would do is one day back. So even though this has default years back as the variable that I, I didn't change that because I was a little lazy. But for me, if I put one, that's equivalent to days. And there's no real point. So there is this reset library setting, but the minute I did this, even though it was working correctly and stating that the last run date for, let's say, my library movies was instead of uh, today is the 7th, right? So it was saying last run date 24 hours ago was the 6th. So it was recognizing all that, but then I was noticing it wasn't grabbing anything. It was grabbing no assets. Didn't matter if I put one days, two days, three days. It, it was updating the count, but it wasn't grabbing posters. Reason being is because the last time it ran, the database here saved all the movies it downloaded. So it won't download those again unless you rename it to dot back. So this is important. And so once I renamed it to dot back, then it was pretty straightforward for it to just grab whatever it needed to grab in terms of posters, et cetera, et cetera. And it worked beautifully. And then I was able to like update the assets directory with the posters I liked. Now, obviously I could go into the assets directory and do it manually, but that's ridiculous for a hundred plus titles. So, once it was done and it grabbed everything, I went ahead and pretty much just re, I just renamed that old database file back in because it has history from like months ago. So it's really no big deal, I think, if you were to lose this file, it's just so quick for it to just download all the images again. And it would detect that your old posters have the PMM overlay. So it would skip most of them and then recorded in the database file that, oh, hey, look, I already grabbed all these posters. Worst case scenario, you do end up deleting it by accident. But again, the reason I'm doing that, it is not only because it had poster history from months ago, but also because it already had poster history of the movies it has already grabbed, right? So I'm just renaming it back and putting everything back the way it was. So it has all that history to it. And so that's pretty much it. This is all I wanted to really cover in terms of grab all posters. If you find yourself having issues with when it's running as you're downloading a bunch of stuff and then you're like, oh crap, I, I hate all these posters. That's kind of the way to do it. You want to change that SQLite file, number one. Number two, you want to edit the grab all poster script with Python knowledge. 
you should have that to just make it days instead of years. And then lastly, you just want to run that script that way. He might just put it in the script itself, but so once you have it set to days instead of years, this will allow you to just be better, more in control for like everyday maintenance. I find that the year setting really doesn't help me that much. So I switched over to, you know, every 24 hours. So one day, two day, three days. That way, you know, if I'm like, oh man, I got to edit out like 50 posters. I can just set, you know, I could change that SQLite file, re-grab them all very easily. They'll overwrite. They'll overwrite in the assets directory. Perfect. You know, not a problem. And then lastly, just, uh, finally not have to worry about, uh, just not have to worry about, um, you know, assume, assuming you just didn't get a chance to get to it right away. Cause that can happen as well. Now, if I only had to change one or two of these things, well, it'd be easy just to go into the assets directory for each of them, change the poster.jpg. But this is really for grab all posters and massive poster changes in terms of days and perhaps re-grabbing all these posters once you've changed them within the Plex UI. Because remember, it's all about me just really going through, picking the posters. Like I said in the Cometa video, before you run grab all posters, you want to pick what posters you want because those will get locked in once Cometa runs. All righty, guys. I hope this video wasn't too overwhelming. It's a little quick, uh, give or take, but cover something that I've been running into myself. So initially I thought maybe I won't share the Python command, but for those of you who just need a little help, I went ahead and included it in the description of this video. Just remember that you set this command and don't blame me if anything goes wrong. Because a lot of people blame me for doing something wrong and that's the crazy part. <laughs> Until the next one guys, take care. Bye bye.